Alaska to Milk on Tap. Fireman Jim along with Van, the Milkman McNeil, on location again. I love it. It's a different place every week I now. And I love it that we're here. Tell where we are. Pops, kettle corn. It's where you want to go. We are in Muskego. And I just caught. Hey! Popcorn! You've heard that a million times at our games this season. For every foul ball, you turn it in at the Pops tent on the right field concourse, you get a free bag of Pops kettle corn. Yeah, that big red tent. And that's we, uh, where we are hanging today. Yes. The headquarters, the, if you will. Headquarters of Pops Kettle Corn. And we can bring the owner in and can talk some talk, talk some while, corn. while he comes in, South 75, West 17461, Janesville Road. Yeah. We're in Muskego. Right here in Muskego. How yeah. Good. 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 Here. He kind of slid into yeah. this business style. Yeah. I like that. Older. It is slippery it over clothing here. Clothing because we are working with food. So yes. we got to make sure we got the clothing on. <laughs> that comes it. with the territory, comes the slippery the ter ground here. You know, not normally, but we are popping a lot of corn because we're preparing for you guys and you guys are on a nine game series right now. Yes. Home, so mm -hmm. that's pretty awesome. Uh, getting ready for you guys. We'll be out there tonight, popping live Friday and Saturday. Popping uh, live, oh, awesome. And Sunday, actually. Greg will be out there on Sunday, so we're going to hit you guys up pretty hard. We always say popcorn, yes. and I'm wondering, like, they got to get mad at us because it's really not, it's kettle corn, right? So, yes. this is a really funny one. I believe there was a young gentleman who started getting pretty upset. He was. You guys calling it popcorn, <laughs> yep, yep. and it was always straight kettle corn. We do kettle corn, we do cheese corn, gourmet, and we do popcorn. Okay. So it's popcorn love, we call it corn. If you call it just pops, whatever. But at the end of the day, it is kettle corn. It is kettle corn. What's kettle okay. corn? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. want to know what the difference between popcorn kettle and kettle. Kettle corn's kind of like beer style. So there's three ingredients. You got seeds, sugar, oil. Seeds, sugar, oil, caramelized at a high temperature. That's your kettle corn. Okay. Yep, that's Good pretty much know. it. It's simple. That's, it's that's simple, the difference. but it's not all equal. I Ours just love eating best. it. I just want to eat it, really. Oh, yeah, it's, everybody does. But it takes a little bit more to put together, it right? It takes a lot of love. Yeah. A it's, lot of craftsmanship. Always. That's, that's Pop's recipe. Gotcha. Absolutely. What's your favorite? Oh, man. Puppy chow. Puppy chow? All right. We're going to sample some puppy of this stuff by here. Puppy so, chow. All right. So we have some So we sample? have like a bunch of crazy samples. If you ever come in, we've always got them here. Oh, uh, look at this. We're going to go for the puppy chow is one of those. Okay. We kind of came up with. It was supposed to be the uncup. So it's going to be chocolate kettle corn turned with peanut butter. But my mom really does a good job and you guys can feel the moisture in the air mm -hmm. to like get it dry she threw uh powdered sugar on it okay so it's our kettle chocolate yes. kettle corn thank you no peanut allergies right no 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 no, 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 no. Uh -uh. look at that stuff oh delicious oh yeah that one's like my go-to <laughs> great stout or coffee yeah. Mm. Non-alcoholic and alcoholic. Throw it right in the coffee. I couldn't work here because I'd be eating the stuff all day. I know. We eat the stuff all day. I can imagine. Sample. Much. You're yeah. sampling. You go from the quality, sweet. Quality, quality control. control. You go from the sweet and savory to the, like the outrageously spicy. The yeah. dragon's breath? Well, before we go into dragon's oh, okay. breath, dragon's <laughs> breath ruins the palate. So you got to do this yeah. one. White cheddar dill pickle. This one is our award winner. State Fair last week. Tell us about that. Oh, it was awesome. So we, uh, Sarah came up with this idea. We usually do a regular, like, white cheddar dill. Okay. And then we found this really oh. awesome little vinegar spice in the back that Sarah ended up was like, let's try and put it on there. You're oh, really, you gotta get better at that one. I know. <laughs> um, and this one ended up going to the judge's favorite. Not only got first place, got judges. Wow. Judge's best, and then we are something special from Wisconsin, mm -hmm. and that means everything has to be locally produced and all that kind of stuff. Um, and we got the best of something special from Wisconsin at the State Fair for that one. Wow, so, great. I need some more of that for sure. We're gonna get some more of that. Yeah. Hey, we got some players here. We do, we need to get them get in them on in this popcorn song. action. Don't slide and hurt yourselves, guys. Yeah, we cannot risk that. <laughs> we don't want Coach getting mad at us. We got Dan, the Milkman Ward here, Chris Conley. Uh, Morning, boys. These are the guys that are responsible for all the foul balls. This is how they get. <laughs> this is how the fans get the popcorn. How you doing, boys? Pretty good. How you doing? Good. Hanging in there. Welcome. Nice. Welcome. So we're gonna sample some of this, uh, some of the kettle corn and different flavors. So do you have any pre preferences? Cheese. Yeah. What basic? Hot. You, see, he wants stuff. the hot and spicy. What about? Hot and spicy. I want the hot. Are you more like a unicorn kind of guy? Uh, so <laughs> it's funny you should say that. <laughs> he played for the unicorns. Unicorn. <laughs> this is our unicorn mix. We'll have this all the time, every once in a while, but it's seven fruity flavors. Oh, banana, no. lime, yeah, orange, cherry, watermelon, blue, raspberry. Right here, I got half. This is like cereal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Did I screw it up, Cody? I think I screwed mm. it up. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. My favorite yeah. is banana. It tastes like banana laffy taffy. Yeah. Can I have this that for breakfast? Like you can pour in a bowl for breakfast, right? This is a breakfast. That is pretty right. good. I like Easily. it. Wow. Um, That's a flavor that we mm. normally have at the Milkman Games too. We don't always bring all of our flavors, mm. but we do bring a lot of them. Unicorn. Unicorn is, is a keeper. Yeah, kid that's for sure. Now, I remember earlier in the season, a quick storm blew through and, and blew the Pops Kettle of Corn tent right. away, basically. Right. Just against the fence. It rolled over the fence. It cracked. I got such a bigger tent now. <laughs> I saw Good that. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck trying to blow it. All right. The tent. challenge, Mother Nature's accepted. We'll no, see. Let's not, let's not throw that out there. Let's just say good luck. So we got some more corn. We got some big games coming up this weekend. Yeah. Friday is our Boom with the Beat. Uh, Jim and Van's Excellent Adventure is the theme, mm -hmm. based on Bill and Ted's 30 years of that movie. So we're blowing up some fireworks with some 80s hair rock. Boys, how are we feeling here? We're coming into the home stretch of the season. I know it's been uh, pretty roller coaster like, but uh, keeping things exciting there yesterday against the Dogs. Yesterday was a good game. We've got nine game stretch. We're just trying to win a couple games for the fans here in the last stretch of the season. And hopefully we can win more than we lose. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Chris, how are you hanging in there this season? Oh, we're hanging in there. Yeah, <laughs> That's been an interesting run. When, year, when you good. get, yeah, well, you know, it's it's one for the storybooks. You yeah. got to start somewhere, yep. and uh, it, it's great that you're uh, helping and going above and beyond with the team as well. So yeah, yeah, thank you for all yeah, that no, stuff. No, in the club. No, no problem. Taking a couple of behind awesome. the dish there, a couple of foul tips I saw. You hanging <laughs> yeah. in there, all right? Oh yeah, no, I really. Any good bruises? That's right. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> I can imagine. Let's get us more popcorn here. What else should we sample? You guys wanted hot, so we'll. Yeah, get Dan. To Dan's the, the guy. Uh, so, you wouldn't think an Ohio guy so would be hot and spicy. We're gonna kind of like build you up to the heat. The oh. first one we're gonna do is a hot jalapeno cheddar. Oh yeah. This is just like our jalapeno cheddar, but we do a little bit more when it comes to it by adding a five alarm. Do we have you any guys, water around here? Right, five right. Alarm. Oh, I gotta I'll try, try some. I'll try a couple. And you need some water? You okay? Oh, it just takes some of his. Yeah, it takes some I don't know mind. how you guys go. This one, this one, you shouldn't need water. Maybe a nice little cold bevy of a beer. That's a good oh, idea. Good. Oh, yeah. What do you think, Dan? What, what? Thursdays After is again. coming up? Ah, or again. Thursdays are coming up. After a win. Thirsty Thursday. Thursday Thursday, yeah. You know what? That's not too bad. I thought that was going to be a little bit more spicy. Oh, you wait. Yeah. <laughs> it was a good try. Saturday is our uh, Calabunga game. 1,500 fans, first 1,500 fans get the uh, surf and bovine bobblehead. Oh, bobblehead game, yeah. His head on backwards, a la our man right here, Dan. Yeah. He's going to be wearing that, man. surfing Dan away. And, of man. course, we have a Hawaiian jersey auction after the game. You guys yep. are wearing the Hawaiian jersey uh, during the game. Oh, it's, oh, yeah. it's still there. That heat's growing yeah, a little bit, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, so the next one's Dragon's Breath. Last year we did this one for something that was hot. It's got a great flavor. But you might only want one of these. This man. is what the game day crew, not, they try to, they've been trying to get me, because you have this out at the ballpark. Is this the right? hottest you have? No. No, this is not no, the hottest. Oh, What's all in here? Maybe just one. Uh, a lot of love. <laughs> a lot of love. What's the pepper? Is it no, like a habanero or something? going to be, the hottest is habanero, but you get a good Cajun flavor. I need more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that one's good. Not bad at all. I'm going to give you the biggest handful of what we call the devil's cheddar. <sighs> oh, boy. And the devil's cheddar... Yeah, the devil's cheddar, my mother is concerned about people eating this uh -oh. because of how hot it is. Uh -huh. We had about, I'd say, close to a thousand people. He's sweating. A little, little bit, a little, 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 little bit. How you guys bit. doing? You all right, Dan? You know what? We had about a thousand plus oh, people that sample this one, and out of that, there was about 15 to 20 at the state fair who said it was not hot enough. Really? Oh. We only do a one kernel sample. Okay. So. Oh, one, one is just enough. Let's, let's plug Sunday then before we eat this, because we might be done after this one. So one Sunday, time. down the farm, family day. You said you wanted hot. Yeah. Petting zoo. <laughs> right, right. I'm here for hot, man. Hey, Sunday, we're having a cow and bull get married. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that legal? Officiated by Van. Yeah, I thought Van's we were... officiating this ceremony oh, between it's innings. Yeah, so. hey, don't still... do all those. No? Okay. I don't. I would do one, yeah. I, the bag chooses. <laughs> you ready? The bag, the bag chooses? Two. This is lot 666, I heard, too, right? Oh, I, I feel like I have to. Here, I'll do. Cheers. I will do this with you. I don't normally have this one. There we go. Cheers, guys. Oh, oh, boy. Cheers, boys. All right. Wait, you got to get a little bit more here. I feel like I need a good. Oh, my. Uh, the, the crew is looking at me like you've made a huge mistake. What's that, cheddar? Oh, yeah, base cheddar. We have ghost in there and scorpion, so okay. we're going to feel that one. Okay. Do the water. Good for the power. Just go for it all. You know what I mean? Every time Come on, Dan. You can do that? And it keeps going. It's hot like a milkman fast. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> you might need some milk. <clears throat> need some milk right now. Yep. <laughs> How you doing over there, Jim? Need some milk, Chris. Woo! 
pretty hot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, well, thank you for joining us today at Milk on Tap. Uh -huh. Man, you are getting red. Yeah, you are getting red. The, the, the lights don't show it. You can't see it on the camera. Obviously, you're at all the Milkman games. Yes. You're here in Muskego. Yep. You got another location, right. but online yeah, too. Yeah, <laughs> online too. We're out at tons of different fairs, festivals. Come check us out. Uh, we don't stop once kind of the farmer's market stuff stops. Mm -hmm. We keep going. Okay. Our big one is going to be... <laughs> <laughs> he's, having, he's having a great time. Yeah. Yeah. At us. This is the most fun and here. entertaining one to sample. Very. Uh, but tons of stuff all the way through. And then, now that just hit me too. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. It's, it's good late. stuff. And, no, and no, then hit you though. I, I wanted to ask you crying. earlier, yeah. but new flavors, new spices. Is that new flavors, new cultivated? spices? We do it all the time. New stuff. If anybody out there has one, maybe we have a milkman challenge. You guys could come good up idea. with a spice. Yeah. You guys could come like up that. with a flavor. We could try and get it going. Man, no. he's starting to cry <laughs> right now. And uh, that's a Still great. with me. Yeah. Huh. This this right here was a challenge from all the other customers who said that it wasn't hot. Enough. Is it hot it's enough? hot enough. It is yeah. hot enough. It's hot enough. But you know what? It's it's tolerable. Right. It's not gonna wallop you over the head like I thought it was. It but and I'm a weakling that. when it comes to hot stuff, so it's gonna it creep perfect. up on it you. Was... So, but it tastes good. It's great. Very it tastes it great. Really tastes. Very, it From really the sweet tasty. and savory stuff, even to the spicy stuff, there's Do a great flavor there. Yeah. Taste. No. Then, there's a great Never. flavor there. Woo. So. Not a pop's motto. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate Thank you coming yeah. by and doing a milk on tap yeah. here at Pop's Kettle Corn and Skego. Thank you. Thank you. Find out more online at milwaukeemilkman.com. Yeah, we got big games this weekend, so we'll we'll see you next week for another edition of Milk on Tap. We're gonna Sample some, uh, do you have like some lighter flavors that yeah, I can sample? Yeah, anything that'll uh, bring the heat bring down. Bring the heat Seems down. Seems like a beer 30 kind of <laughs> moment. Yeah. Right Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time on Milk on Tap. Thanks for joining us, guys. Milkman. Woo. Woo. I, what are you going to do? <laughs> Can't do a beer. I'll have a do, please. I can. Yeah, a do would be good. I'll, sl I'll slam that down. What's up, man? Wait, I got to try I was going to say, I was looking Thank you. Oh. Thanks for coming to Pop's Cup. Woo. <laughs> 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 Oh, the can is so cold against my face. Thank you. Right. I'm just going to lick the can for a while. Yeah, you're not kidding. That is a pallet.